Hey, hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Now, this one here is definitely the last one for today, okay? So, we're going to get right to it. I got to pick up where I left off telling y'all all about Rap the News. So, again, this is a W. It's not an M. Now people, I'm not trying to argue with nobody. Here. People, some come in there and say, well, I was told it's this, I was told it's that. You can say whatever you want to say, Okay. The Holy Spirit has put it upon me, and I have seen much, much literature except since way back in 2010 where a man came on in a video and he was so anointed. And this man said to me, if you are RH negative, you most definitely are a divine holy watcher. He broke it all down with the 13 Illuminati thingies. And I'm not going to get all into that stuff because I think... That has something to do with that shirt that I was wearing, P-U-R-P-L-E, and the last three that I made yesterday, and the one got, um, it didn't get taken down, but they took the sound out, you know what I'm saying? So it's still over there on YouTube, like I say in another video, on over there, and I keep leaving my handle in the, um, in the, in the details of each video. So when you click on this, you just go look at the information with the video and the hashtags and all that. And it refers you over to my, um, the YTube site. So you could always go there. Like I said, that's a backup. And I'm going to have R-U-M-B-L-E as a backup and some other sites too. I ain't playing with this here thing. I'm downloading my videos because they, they, they did that with an account I had um, last year. Since last year, that one was it had a lot of stuff. I'm telling you, it was it was heavy duty. So, but I knew that was coming because I knew the type of stuff I was talking about. Oh no, they wasn't having it. So, but anyway, let's get into this here thing. Okay, so, um, what rap the news used to talk about was some serious stuff, and like you may not agree with none of this stuff, but let me tell you, if it resonates with you, it's gonna resonate. If you're offended, I don't want to hear it because listen. I'm not here for certain people, and I'm not, like, speaks to like, shine, speaks to shine. If I'm not resonating with you, it's okay. Don't try to sit up and argue with me, because I will just, like, give you the IG. You're going to get eggs, you know, ignored. You're going to get just <laughs> no attention whatsoever. I'm not going to react. Okay, the Heavenly Father told me not to react, but address certain things, and he'll tell me what. Okay, so Rap the News said it like this. He said... <clears throat> When it came to Yahushua, he told everyone he was the son of man. The Bible is, scripture says it. I'm the, he's the son of man. If the wording changed in there, listen, you got, oh, I don't know how many editions they reprinted and call it this, this edition, that edition, King James, this one, that one, this one. Listen, somebody been tainting with the book. We know that. And, and where it originally came from, it didn't come in that form, whatever. Okay, but he always said he was son of man. He didn't say son of God. When he got before them Pharisees, because they was ready to, like, oh, you need to get up out of here. And he said, listen, woe to those who don't receive me. I come here in the name of my Father. And I ain't coming back here until you can proclaim that blessed is he who comes in the name of the Holy One, the Heavenly Father. For I and my Father are one in the same. Okay, hold up now. When he said that. What he meant was not saying I'm equal to him. Everybody keep talking about this equal stuff. They got us running around saying the J-E-S-U-S -S word. Okay. People have been do you still doing that. Many of y'all stand ten toes down to that. Claiming you got saved because of that. Hey, I wouldn't doubt because we have, you know, we call everything into being and in existence through our minds. Like we talked about the heaven and hell concept. It's all based on our mind control and programming that we've had to endure since birth. They have done numbers on us. So if we took it and flipped it spiritually, maybe God resonated with that in heaven and turned it. So Jesus is a holy word now. Not meant to that evil deception that they put up in there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm not discrediting that at all. What I'm saying is when he was saying, I am the son of man. Listen, the book says like this. He came here. The reason he came here, they said, I hear Israel lacks a shepherd. The sheep of Israel are lost, the lost tribes. He was sent here to be that shepherd to lead the lost sheep of Israel back to the Most High. They were lost. A lost flock needs a shepherd. It's all throughout the scripture. So he was sent here as the son of man. Okay? If, 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 if somebody's looking for your daddy and you're, you're a young man, 
Somebody's looking for your daddy. Your daddy tells you everything to do. And this person comes to the door. Your father's not home, but you have everything. You know exactly how to handle your, his business for him. And he gave you the permission, whatever. The dude comes to the door. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, my father's not here, but he told me you were coming so I can give it to you. I can handle it for him. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I'd really like to speak to your dad, right? Think Pharisees, Sadducees, scribes. I'd really like to speak to your dad, whatever. Listen, I and my father are one and the same. I got all this. I can handle it. I'm going to do it. He knows. He got me here. He sent me here to do this. I represent my father. Okay, let me come on inside. I got you. Dude goes in the house. They handle the business. Okay, he does everything the father said. He and his father, one is the same. Okay, that's what that represented. It did represent, I think I'm better than God. I think I'm above God. I'm the one. I came down here and I am him. They twisted it. They flipped it because see them scribes and them Pharisees was looking for any little thing they can get to get rid of him. He was a nuisance to them. He was disrupting their whole order where they run everything. Here come this person with new fiery revelations and teachings. He got all the people in an uproar. They, oh, this man, he's wonderful. Da, da, da. They wanted him gone. You get what I'm saying? They wanted him out of there. So that's what that was. There's things like that. You got to really look at that. He and his father are one and the same, in fact. Yeah, they one and the same in different respects, though. You see, God is, says the first commandment, like I said, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, my soul, and strength. I told you how he's a very jealous God. Yeah, but he wants it his way, but you heed, you um, you heard the Son of Man, because, you, you, you know, the Son of Man is leading you, because he's the one, the good shepherd, that's gonna, he's the pathway to get you back to God. Like I said, that's how he represents the Father. He and his Father are one and the same. But he is the Son of Man. He came down here in flesh form to do the darn thing, but he's still a divine being. So all this talk about holy watchers and all that, we're here in flesh form form if you are a watcher you bear this mark you down here in flesh form you chose this we chose this up in heaven when we was angels up in there we consciously made this choice because we love the father and we said i'm willing to go down there and do this for you because he, he knew at such a time as this right now that's going down he needed certain soldiers and armies and messengers and that's what's coming through to you online right now all this talk about chosen people coming at you all in the internet every other video on tiktok and the algorithms going crazy on youtube all of it the, the messengers are out there the people are doing the work through you the way the truth and the life that's what yahushua was he you no man gets to the father except by him because i and my father are one and the same he represents the father don't get it twisted though he said himself yahushua said don't worship me though worship the father the very first commandment says thou shalt love the lord thy god with all your mind heart body soul strength and love no other gods before me there's to put no one else be above me it's me first okay so you could argue that trinity stuff all you i ain't trying to hear it Okay? Yeah, him and his father is one and the same. And you get to him through him and all that. But you better give God your recognition first. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I tell you. There was a time when I fell on my knees maybe about, I don't know, 20 years ago. Things was bad. And I had moved to that neighborhood. I told you that gunfire and all that stuff was. I got on my knees. I said, Father, well, listen. I've been following all these scriptures and all this stuff and Bible study and everything. And what I got from I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not calling on that J name no more. I'm calling on you. I'm calling on you. That scripture says you are the one. It says the first commandment, thou shalt love you, the Lord your God, with all your heart, mind, soul, body, and strength, and put no other gods before you. So I'm getting on my knees coming to you first. I recognize Yahushua and all he did and everything, but I reckon I said the very things I'm saying to you today. I know he was the lamb of God, the sheep that led, led the sheep back, the shepherd, the good shepherd. But I'm calling on you. And let me tell you, when I did that, everything got into alignment and things got better. Listen, them dark clouds was gone again and I got back on track. Next thing you know, I got a message from an angel in heaven. Somebody sent me this message talking about you about to move. And you're going to a key came in the mail with this like letter from one of them preachers. I thought it was one of them fake hoax or scammy type of thing. And it probably was. But who cares? I read the letter and it says, so here's your key. You're going to have a new house and it's on the winding road. You're going to see a winding road. You're, where you move is going to have a swimming pool, tennis courts, all this stuff. Church right in back of you. It all happened. I moved. And when I looked out the backyard, there's a pool in the place. 
this tennis court, a basketball court, the whole thing. Church was right in my back window. Anyway, I got to go. <laughs> so I hope you like that. We, uh, we'll we talk more about that because that dude was heavy, wrapped the news. I'm going to give you a lot more. So um, I hope you enjoyed this today. Keep on watching. Remember, this is 